Good afternoon everyone. So in the last lecture we have seen what is a Newton's forward difference interpolation and backward difference interpolation. Formulas also we have seen. In this lecture we are going to solve the example based on Newton's forward difference interpolation and backward difference interpolation. Let me write down both the formula that I have told you in the last lectures. Newton's forward difference interpolation formula is y of x is equals to f of x that means we are going to find out a new polynomial f of x which satisfy the condition of y which is equal to y naught plus p delta y naught plus p into p minus 1 divided by 2 factorial into delta square y naught plus p p minus 1 p minus 2 divided by 3 factorial into delta cube y naught plus up to so on the last term is p p minus 1 p minus 2 and so on so the last one is p minus n minus 1 we can write it as p minus n plus 1 divided by n factorial into delta raised to n y naught okay this is a formula for forward difference interpolation we have seen a formula for a backward difference interpolation and the formula is newton's formula for newton's backward difference interpolation formula is f of x is equals to y n of x now in this backward difference instead of writing x minus x naught and all we have written x minus x n for the coefficient of a1 and here coefficient of a1 uh, is x minus x naught in the forward okay and with the help of that we have found the formula as y n plus plus del square y n e e plus 1 divided by 2 factor plus del cube y n e p plus 1 everyone should write down this formula because in this lecture we are going to solve the example based on this again i am not going to show you the formula you have to select which formula you have to apply for which example write down this formula and then uh, we will we'll come to examples and we will see which example should be solved by which method which is either forward difference or backward difference okay have you written the formulas Only 21 means, including me, there is 19 student only. Half one is not. Half one is a little bit of a student. Half one is a little bit of a student. Lockdown is not a little bit of a You can attend the lecture online. Right? Uh, if you have written the formula, let, uh, write the one note in which we'll write first note, and then you have to tell me uh, what is the meaning of this. Newton's forward difference interpolation formula is useful for interpolation. Newton's forward difference interpolation formula is useful for interpolation near beginning of set of tabulated values near beginning of set of tabulated values.
Okay, second one Newton's backward difference interpolation formula is useful for the interpolation near the end of set of tabulated values. What do you understand from the statement? Hello. Atatar parate azunek left kele. Atra at the student only. Ah, what do you mean by these notes? We have already seen in the 12th standard, I think. So it is not so much difficult to remember this one. Is it so difficult? Newton's forward difference interpolation formula to survati chiji tabulated values the cardnacity with any backwards shivert chim the ending values cardnacity. Tetan meaning with Halana, Chamarati Madipan. What do you mean by actual statement? I Karavala will apply a forward difference, Kadi use Karavala will backward difference use Karavala. Suppose set of tabulated values are given, say it is um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and corresponding values are given. Here it is say 2, 4, minus 1, minus 6, minus 8, like this. And if you are asked to find out the value of, uh, as we know that in forward and backward, the values of x should be equally distributed. So if it is asked to find out the value of uh, y at x equal to minus 1, if it is asked to find out the value of y at x equal to minus 1, so we are going to use a forward difference, right? Near the set of uh, or interpolation near beginning of set of tabulated values. Okay. And if suppose the question is asked to find out the value of y at x equal to 5. So at that time you can use Newton backward difference interpolation. That means we can use this interpolation near the end of tabulated values. Okay. So this is what the meaning of these two uh, know that if you are going to have a values at the end of tabulated values. Agar aapko koi end ke values a corresponding value of y you have to find out at that time you can use a backward difference and if you have to find out from where here so it is a forward difference okay but you can um, the end value is uh, for backward use you can use forward also but it is somewhat um, not easy to find out but if you are going to use a backward it will be more easy to find out by using backward difference interpolation formula have you understood And now, I'll ask any question to you. 
let us solve the example find the polynomial by taking the following values polynomial by taking following values so by for finding this polynomial let us write me base values of x and y here only so that we can get the table is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 corresponding values of y you can see the values of x were equally distributed in case of newton's forward and backward difference 1 2 4 7 11 16 22 29 the values of y are there let us solve this or let us find out the polynomial by using backward or forward difference Uh, now if you want to use a backward let us use a backward one so for backward difference what you have to do we have to subtract these two two minus one will be one again four minus two is two seven minus four it is three eleven minus four is four Difference between sixteen and eleven. Difference between twenty-two and six. It is six. Difference between twenty-nine and twenty-two. It is seven. Difference of these two. I have written in between these two. Okay. Now, what will be del square? It is two minus one one. Two minus three one. Four minus three one. Five minus three one. Say five six minus five one one. What will be del cube? This no doubt one minus one is zero 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 zero. Derivative is zero. So up to here, but uh, it will come zero. Now, how many values are given? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So total eight values are given. So no doubt we can get a polynomial of degree. Total eight values are given. Now zero, one, two, up to seven. So we can get a polynomial of degree up to seven. Okay, up to seven means the polynomial may have a degree seven or less than seven, right? Now let us put up all these formulas uh, in the backward difference formula. Uh, the formula for backward difference is f of x is equals to del y n p plus del square y n e p plus one divided by two plus up to so on. Uh, okay, how many terms we are involving? Del cube plus zero j. So let us write down up to del square. Del cube del raised to four all will be zero. So we can write here zero, 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 and so on zero. So we can have only the terms up to del square. Right now, whatever the terms we are having, let us put up the values. Okay. So for that, first we must find out p is equals to x minus x n divided by h. What is x n? The nth value or x seven? Or x8. What is the nth value? It is nothing but your 7. X minus 7 divided by h. Difference between the two consecutive values of x are 1. Okay, so we get the value of p is x minus 7. Now we can find out what is p plus 1 because these things we need. P plus 1 will be x minus 6. Okay, p and p plus 1. Now let us put up all these values in our formula. Okay, f of x is equal to y n of x. Y n is nothing but this one. The corresponding value for uh, x equal to seven la y ch value ka yale is twenty nine plus. Okay, what is the next one? We have it is twenty nine. Here it be y n y n plus. Okay, next is del y n p. Del y n means this first value. Okay, this n values we are going to consider now. It, so this del y n is seven, right? For the backward difference, we are going to consider the n values from the table. So this is what is seven into del y n 
into p. p is nothing but x minus 7. Okay, this p. We have evaluated from this. Plus, hmm, what is the next term? Del square y into p, p plus 1 divided by 2. Del square y will be 1 only. 1 into p, p plus 1. That is p into p plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, now what is the formula? f of x will be equal to Oh, it is x minus 7 into x minus 6. Multiply these two divided by 2 plus 7x minus plus 29. Okay. Now after solving this, after taking the LCM and all, we can have the formula is equals to x square plus x plus 2 divided by 2. We have to multiply these two and then we have to Take an LCM of 2, you have to multiply 2 everywhere. And you can get a polynomial with the help of backward difference interpolation like this one, x squared plus x plus 2 divided by 2. Okay, now let us solve the one more example. What is given to us? y of 1 is equal to 24 y of 3 is equal to 120, y of 5 is 336, y 7 is 720, you have to find out the value of y 8. Now if I want to find out the value of y 8, that means it is at n, no? Since we are provided as 1, 3, 5, 7. So you can see the values of x are equally distributed. Difference between each value of x is 2, h is 2. Corresponding values of y are 24, 120, p 36 and 7, 20. Now it is at n because we have to find out the y 8. So now we can use a backward difference interpolation. h is 2 because difference between each values of x is 2. Now let us again prepare the table for this. So these are values of x and y. So this is 1, 3, 5 and 7, 24, 120, 30, 7, 20. Okay, first we are going to find out backward difference. Tell difference between these two. 120 minus 24, it is 96. 336 minus 120, 216. 720 minus 330, it is 336. Which is 336. So difference between these two is 384. Okay, now let us find out del square. Difference between 216 and 196 this is 120. Difference between these two is 168. And del cube will be difference between these two is a 48. From next one, it will be 0. Now actually, we are 1, 2, 3, 4. Four values are given. So we will get a polynomial of a degree. 3. Okay. Now as we are going to use a backward difference interpolation, let me write down the formula for backward difference interpolation consisting of values up to del cube only. You can prepare the table like this and we have to use these in values. Uh, if you are going to prepare a table for backward, we are going to use this in values. Okay. Let us write down this formula. f of x is equal to will be yn plus del yn p plus where yn divided by 2 into p p minus sorry p plus 1 plus del cube yn divided by e factorial e p plus 1 p plus 2. Now let us find out what is the value of p. How to find out p is x minus xn. What is nth value? It is 7, right? That is x minus 7. What will be p plus 1? x minus 6. p plus 2, simply we have to add the one term. p plus 2, we have to 2 add the other x minus 5. So all these values we have to use here. This is what del yn, okay, 384. Del, y, del square y not yn is 168, del cube yn is 48. Let us write down all those values. Yn is 720 plus del yn is 384 into x minus 7 plus del square yn is 
168 divided by 2 e into v plus 1 that is x minus 7 into x minus 6 plus del cube del cube la ka e na re 48 divided by 3 factorial means is 6 okay so next it is x minus 7 x minus 6 and x minus 5 okay now we can solve this or we can put it as it is also but if you uh, if the question is like this find the polynomial and if it is for seven marks you have to solve this and finally i will write down the final answer for this one you can write up to this and then you can you can leave some lines to calculate and i will write down the final one that as you are not having any responses i am not asking any question to you x cube 6x square plus 11x plus 6 so this is what a polynomial we get now what is our question to find out f of 8 okay f of 8 simply put x is equal to 8 and we will get the answer of f of 8 is 902 i think okay so we get the answer for uh, x equal to 8 the corresponding value of y is 902 and we can check cross check uh, from here so after 720 uh, corresponding to 8 it will be uh, 902 it is correct because as it is increasing 24 123 36 720 and all so this is what the correct answer right now for the same example what we have to find out f of 2 it means for x equal to 2 what will be the result and for that we can use now power difference formula okay same example we have to find out x equal to for x equal to 2 what will be y okay for that let us prepare the table once again you can solve it by earlier one also but now we, uh, as one, i want to show you both the methods so now we are going to use forward method Newton's forward difference in formula x is 1 3 5 7 by 24 120 e 36 720 okay delta means difference between these two is 96 216 e 84 forward difference 120 168 no doubt we are getting the same values because as i told you the values are same but the notations are different because we are going to evaluate simply by one minus y naught by two minus y1 and so on so these values are same but the notations are different now in this case also we will write down up to del cube only because after that all values will be zero since we have four values we will get a polynomial of degree three so y naught the formula is y naught p into over difference y naught plus p p minus one divided by two into del square y naught plus p p minus one p minus two divided by three factorial into del q y naught Now simply we have to find out the value of p is equal to x minus x naught divided by h. Earlier it was x minus x and divided by h in the case of backward difference. So x minus x naught is nothing but your 1 divided by h. First value of x is nothing but your x naught. This is x naught, x1, x2 and x3. This may be called as xn. So x minus 1 divided by difference between each consecutive values is 2. So what will be p minus 1? It is x minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1. Okay. Similarly, we can find out the next one. x minus 1 minus 2 divided by 2. So p minus 1 will be x minus 3 by 2. Similarly, we can calculate p minus 2 is x minus 5 divided by 2. Now uh, let us find out y of x is equal to what will be y of x y naught plus del y naught okay x minus 1 divided by 2 that is pp into del y naught is 96. Now in the forward difference formula we are going to use this 
initial values. Okay, del y naught is nothing but your 96. Del square y naught is 120. Del cube y naught is 48. These values I am going to use plus. Next term is p into p minus 1. That is x minus 1 divided by 2 into x minus 3 divided by 2 into del square y naught. That is nothing but your One twenty del square y naught divided by two factorial plus del cube y naught is forty eight divided by six uh, three factorial is six. Next it is x minus one divided by two x minus three divided by two into x minus five divided by two. Okay, you can now calculate it after multiplying these all. You will get a polynomial of degree three. And I will write this polynomial of degree 3 or directly if you want to find out the value y of 2 because we have to evaluate the for which value uh, that means for x equal to 2 what will be y you can simply put up the value of y as 2 is 24 plus 2 minus 1 that is 1 by 2 into 96 plus 2 minus 1 that is 1 by 2 2 minus 1 that is minus 1 by 2 120 divided by 2, 60 plus 48 divided by 6, 2 minus 1 that is half, 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 half, 2 minus 5. Minus 3 divided by 2. And then you can get the value of y of 2 is equals to uh, I have calculated it and I will give the answer of f of 2 is maybe 60 and you can cross check f of 2 we are getting 60 or corresponding to x equal to 2 if you get 60. So 60 is in between 24 and 120 so obviously we get the correct answer. Okay. So you can also cross check what will be the answer after solving this equation. Solve this equation and you can verify the answer whether uh, for x equal to 2, we will get the value of y is 60. Next example for this, uh, we have solved the three examples and as it is and second one with the two method that is forward and backward. Let us have the next example and we will write down x and y like this only. This point 1, point 2, next is point 3, point 4, point 5. Corresponding values of y is 1.4, 1 1.56, 1 1.762, and 2.28. Now, what is the question? We have to find out a forward difference interpolation formula as well as we have to find out the corresponding value of y at x equal to 0 0.25 and x equal to 0 0.35. Now we have L, Y, N we have to find out as we are going to use a backward difference. First we have to find out the value 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is in between these two and we can find out for by forward or backward 0.35 it is somewhere at the end. For 0.35 we can use a backward and for 0.25 we can use a forward formula. Okay I will solve for backward one you have to solve as a homework for forward difference. You have to find out the value of y for x equal to 0 0.25. Okay, del y and difference between these two 1.56 d minus 1.46. Then again it is 0 0.2, 0 0.24, 0 0.28. 
नेक्स्ट इज डेल स्क्वेर वाइन डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर अगेन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर अगेन इट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सो डेल क्यूब विल बी ऑब्वियसली जीरो नो नीड टू फाइंड आउट द नेक्स्ट वन नाउ एज वी आर गोइंग टू यूज अ बैकवर्ड डिफरेंस इंटरपोलेशन फॉर्मूला यू आर गोइंग टू यूज अ इन वैल्यूज फॉर दिस टेबल ओके Now, actually, we are provided with one, two, three, four, five. Five values are there, so we will get a polynomial of degree four. But here you can see up to del square is there, del cube number nine is there, so we will get a polynomial of degree two. Okay, actually, we have five values, so we can get a polynomial of degree four or less than four. But here you can see we can have the Del cube and onwards all are zero, so we can take uh, we can say that the polynomial may be of a degree two only. So let us write down the formula y of x is equals to y n plus p into del y n plus del square y n p p plus one divided by two factorial plus del cube y n divided by three factorial. P P plus one D into P plus two. What is the value of y n? We have calculated before that. Let me find out the value of p is x minus x n divided by h. What is the common difference between the values of h is zero point one, and what is x n? It is nothing but point five n value. This is not your x not x one and so on. This is x n. Okay, x minus x n that is x minus point five. Divided by difference between two consecutive values of x is 0.1. You can see here difference between these two 0.3 minus 0.4 and all. The difference between two consecutive values is 0.1. Uh, similarly, now we can find out p plus one. What will be p plus one? It is x minus 0.5 divided by 0.5 plus one. So finally, I will write down the value of p plus one is x minus 0.4 divided by Point one. Similarly, p plus two is x minus zero point five divided by zero point one plus two. It will be nothing but x minus zero point three divided by point one. Now, all these values we have to put up in our formula, and we get get the answer as y of x is equal to y n corresponding to x equal to zero point five. The value of y n is two point two eight plus del y n. Del y n we have calculated is point two eight. Okay, del y n point two eight. Wait, point two eight into p. That is x minus zero point five divided by zero point one. Plus next is del square y n is zero point zero four divided by. Two factorial into x minus zero point five divided by zero point one into x minus zero point four divided by zero point one. Because next values are zero. Del cube any del cube chain under side is zero chain. So we can write up to del square only. This is del square y n is zero point zero four. Now after evaluating this, uh, no doubt you can evaluate, but it is somewhat difficult. X minus zero point five into X minus zero point four and all. So if the question is there to find out the value of, of X equal to zero point three five, directly you can put the value of zero point three five here. जितने कुटे X है तितने zero point three five put up का direct answer ये ना है. Otherwise, if you are going to solve, it will be somewhat complicated to solve. Right? Because since we are asked to find out the value of X uh, Y for X equal to point three five and point So fine. Right for point three five, I will write the answer f of point three five. It is calculated by using backward difference interpolation, or we can say it is y of point three five is equal to one point eight seven five. And the homework for you, we have to calculate by using forward difference formula. F of zero point two five is equal to one point six five five. You have to cross verify from the table the values are correct or not. One point eight seven five, na point three five. Okay, one point eight seven five. So obviously it will lie in between one and two. 
and here is 0.35 and hence we can get the inside this answer whatever we have obtained is correct now whatever the 0.25 is here so you must get a value in between these two by using power difference interpolation formula there are many more examples are there on the exercise you can solve the example from the exercise in the next lecture we will see divided difference thank you and leave the meeting